when I get ready to film. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh, okay, seriously. I wanted to show you one of the reasons why I really am enjoying the laser. It's because you can make something that you never thought you even cared or needed. I do a lot of hand stitching and I've made what I call corset thimbles. I'm, I'm in a community that hand sews, that appliques, that does English paper piecing. And I know for you lasers, it's all about the wood, the plexiglass, the, you know, creative process, okay? So, but it's a whole different world for me. And I ended up creating for this young man a thimble. The ability to have a thimble that fit his finger to applique or English paper piece what he was piecing. I would never be able to create this without a laser. I would never be able to design this if I didn't know I could on a laser. And so lasering has opened a whole new world for me than I ever expected. So I went ahead and I lasered some leather. These are the ones that I've already worked on, but I need to corset them. You can make really neat thimbles. So I lasered on this, this set the hole a bit bigger. So I wet them, rinsed them out, and laid them. And now this leather's dry. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to seal the edges. And then I'm going to seal the leather and seal the leather on both sides. When you are staining an area, the lasering didn't come out as well. It almost shows better when it's stained. Just let this kind of soak. It's just finished and that's how these came out. And so after it dries, and they said sparingly, but I'm like, put it all on there. You can just buff and start buffing it. So I need to let dry. Once it's dry, then I can polish it. So I'm gonna put these aside. So I use this. It's just a thin layer. And what this does, it conditions the leather on the inside. Remember, when we start doing the corseting of the thimble, you're not gonna be able to get to this side. It just goes back to its natural color. So I'm gonna let those dry, but then I'm gonna do the next step. There is also like a burnisher for the edges and a burnishing tool. I don't use this for this application because I just wanna put edging on there. And too much can make a mess. And you want it to not go on the leather that you just stained. So I like the, this edge of the brush. Do that, slide it off right away. And I'm gonna let it dry. This is what you're gonna need, the ribbon, the needle, the scissors. These help sometimes when the needle gets stuck. 
And here's one of the thimbles. So we're gonna create a knot. And we're gonna burn the tail end and then melt the end of the knot or end of the tail to the knot. Just like that. I believe, I don't remember how I did this. I made these holes a lot bigger. Um, so that the ribboning would be easier. And you're going to ribbon around. And you can either make it as tight or as open as you want. Since I made these holes pretty big. So we're gonna wrap around the other way. And I want it to be a little bit loose. Okay, got through. I'm kind of glad I did the bigger holes. They really do help a lot more. Before I was like yanking this leather. It looks nice and full and pretty. There's the corset. And I'm pulling it under through. And then I'm gonna pull it through. Why am I shaking? I'm putting it through. Here, making it look like a little sweet tie. Right there. And burn. And there it is. Kind of like that. Person number one. A whole new world. A whole new world of possibilities. I never thought lasering would do that for me.